All right, we are about to get to start learning how to solve systems of equations using matrices. And so there's three different methods using matrices we're gonna be using to solve these systems of equations. The first is um, row echelon form or reduced row echelon form. Um, the method is really called Gaussian elimination or Gaussian Jordan elimination. Um, if you look that up, that's what it'll be called. Um, and I'm gonna demonstrate how to do it. Before we can actually do the method though, we have to get used to writing some things. So the first, I have copied down the matrices that you have on your worksheet on my board. And number one says, write the matrix equation AX equals to B. I will ask you to do that many times and you're gonna have to know how to do this. It's really straightforward. So number one says, write the matrix equation AX equals to B. So let me tell you what A is. A is a matrix and it's called the coefficient matrix. X is a matrix and it is the variable matrix. And B is referred to as the solutions matrix. Okay, so this says matrix A times matrix X is equal to matrix B. And we just looked, we just talked about how to multiply matrices together. So let's look at this. For this first system, A is the coefficient. So it goes like this. Coefficients are the numbers in front of the variable. So I'm just going to say the X coefficients are 3 and 2. The y coefficients are five and three. That's my coefficient matrix. Then I'm gonna multiply it by my variable matrix. My variables that show up are x and y. And this is equal to the solutions matrix, which is the numbers, the solutions of these equations over here, negative 13, negative nine. This is called, this is the matrix equation for this. So. We just talked about multiplying matrices, so let's make this make some sense in our head. What size is this coefficient matrix? It's two by two. What size is the variable matrix? It is two by one. Are we allowed to multiply them? Yes, because the inner dimensions match. What will the resulting matrix be? It will be a two by one, which it is a two by one. This should make some sense. Now let's just see, does this, does this equal to this? It will. Because remember how you multiply matrices, it's row one by, by column one will give me element one, one. So three times X plus five times Y gives me equals negative 13. That's that first equation. Row two, column one will give me the element in row two, column one. Two X plus three Y will give me equals negative nine. That's the second one. So this is how you convert this to a matrix equation. Let's go through and convert each of these. Okay, so the second one goes like this. The matrix equation for this one will be four, three, five, negative two, five, negative one, three, one, four. Coefficient matrix, variable matrix, X, Y, Z is equal to the solutions matrix, four, seven, seven. That's that one. All right, here's this one. I'll write it up here. Coefficient matrix, one, one. 5, 0. See, I did not have a y term. That means the coefficient is 0 um, times the variable x, y is equal to 6, 3. Uh, matrix equation. Let's do the matrix equation for this guy. How many variables do we see? I see 3. I see x, y, and z. But every equation doesn't have one. That means there's going to be some zeros in my coefficient matrix. That's all that means. So, Right here, X is one. Oh, I don't have an X. I don't have an X, okay. Y is one, two, I don't have a Y. Z is, I don't have a Z, one, one. Variables are X, Y, Z is equal to two, negative four, and two, just like that. Okay, that's how you write the matrix equation. Sometimes they will ask you to write an augmented matrix. We're gonna need that form. And aug to augment something means to add on something. So, to form the augmented matrix of each of the, of, of the, um, of the coefficient matrix is you take the coefficient matrix and you augment it with the solutions matrix. You just kind of stick it on the end. So, that is a, the augmented matrix I 
don't like all that squeaking. I'm gonna see if I can get it. In. Sometimes I put dot dot D. I'm gonna draw a line just to, to just distinguish between um, the solutions matrix. So for this first one right here, one, two, three, four. Okay, so for the first one, the augmented matrix will be um, the coefficient matrix, which is right here. Okay, I'll do it right here. The augmented matrix would just be three, two, five, three, augmented add-on, negative 13, negative nine. This is the augmented matrix. This line, sometimes you don't have to have a line there, but I like to draw it to distinguish between the coefficient and the solutions. Now, I don't have a two by two, I have a two by three. All right, where is the second one? Right here, let's do the augmented matrix for this guy. Four, three, five, negative two, five, negative one, three, one, four, augmented with four, seven, seven. So the, I realize it's not hard to write these numbers down. Here's what you're learning. The word augmented matrix means add on, form this. That's what you need to connect right now. Okay, so ready? Um, this one would simply be one, one, five, zero, six, three. This one would simply be one, zero, zero, one, two, zero, zero, one, one, two, negative four, two. Augmented matrices, just like that. Okay, cool. Now, we are ready to do number three. Write the systems of equations associated with each augmented matrix. So, number three, they give us an augmented matrix, two of them, and they say write the system of equations that's with it. So, let's do that. Um, I think I'm done with all those guys, so I'm going to erase all this. I got a little written. Alrighty, here we go. So, if we are given this augmented matrix that looks like this. 1, 0, 0. 1, 1, 0. 5, negative 8 thirds, 1, augmented with negative 6, 14, 3, negative 1. All right, and then the second one they gave us was 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, augmented with 3, 2, 1. Okay, now they didn't tell us what variables go with these. So if they don't tell you, you decide what they want to be. I'm going to choose X and Y and Z. That's what I'm going to choose. All right, so the equation that would go with this would be 1X plus 1Y plus 5Z is negative 6. And right here, this would be 0X plus 1Y minus 8 thirds Z is 14 over 3. Right here, 0x plus 0y plus 1y and plus 1z is equal to negative 1. This is the equation that would go with this. Okay, let's go over here and write the equation that would go with this. 1x plus 0y plus 0z is 3. Um, 0x plus 1y plus 0z is 2. 0x plus 0y plus 1z is 1. Wow, that's handy. That solved our whole system of equations. If, if we could only get a matrix in this form. This is a very special form. This is called reduced row echelon form or R, R, E, F. If we can get our matrix in this form, our solutions are there. X is three, Y is two, Z is one. Just like that, okay. Um, so it's a trick, not a trick. It's a little bit of work. It's a method to be able to get a matrix in this form. But if you can, boom, you've got your answer. Now there's another um, form and, and the form of REF is where there's ones on the diagonal and zeros everywhere else in the coefficient part of the matrix, okay? Um, this form is pretty handy because um, it's close to a solution. It's not all the way solved, but this is called um, row echelon form. 
R-E-S. And so it's not quite the solution, it's almost a solution. So I, here's a good question, you know, why wouldn't you just go for R-R-E-F every time? Well, now that we have calculators to do it for us, we do, we do that every time. What happened before calculators was, wow, there's a lot of room for error. Wow, it takes hours. What if you miss a negative? And I'm about to demonstrate for you what the old method was so you can appreciate it. But um, what would happen here is if you could at least get it in this form, row echelon form, where there are ones in the diagonal and zeros underneath, that was handy because you, it would solve for one of your variables. And as you know from doing a system of equations by hand, once you have a value, a number, you can use back substitution and it's easy to solve for the rest. So they would settle for doing this much of the, of the getting your matrix in that form. And then once you had a value, you could just say, okay, well, y minus 8 over 3 times negative 1 is 14 over 3. So y plus 8 over 3 is 14 over 3. y is 14 over 3 minus 8 over 3 which is 6 over 3, so y is 2. All right, y is 2, z is negative 1. Let me throw that in the top equation. x plus 2 um, plus 5 times negative 1 minus 5 is negative 6. x minus 3 is negative 6. x is at 3, negative 3. So here's my order, triple, negative 3, 2, negative 1. So this, in the olden days before calculators, was really helpful to be able to use back substitution to get you to that point. Over here, um, if you have a calculator, or if you don't someday and you just got to do it, or if you have a teacher who makes you do it by hand, whew, then um, you could use back substitution and you could uh, figure that out. So that's the order triple there. This is the order triple here because these happen to be the solution where they all intersected at a point. Now, let me show you how you would even take a matrix and get it in that form, what a person would do or a calculator would do to get it in this form. Um, you would use what is next on your sheet called matrix row transformations. Here's the rules. Any two rows may be interchanged. The elements of a row may be multiplied by a non-zero real number. Any row may be changed by adding its elements to its elements a multiple of the corresponding elements of another row. And um, if you do this, it doesn't change. Um, it, it results in an equivalent matrix um, system. So it hasn't changed your system. So let me show you how you have actually done this and maybe didn't realize you were doing row transformations uh, last week when we had a three by three systems of equations and I said let's add these guys together and um, zero out a, 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 a variable. That is a row transformation. Or what if it didn't add up exactly and you're like well let's multiply this equation through by three so that I had a negative three x and a positive three x and then added it. That's a row transformation. That's what we did with the, uh, the equations. Now we're just going to do it with the matrix. That's what's happening here. So let me just demonstrate um, how to solve using the, uh, um, I have a few systems here, and I said <clears throat> solve using REF or reduced row echelon form. So on these next three, I'll be doing these by hand, and then I have a word problem, and with that one, I'm going to show you how to enter it into your calculator, and that's, you're allowed to use your calculator for these. Okay, um, I'm going to um, make this two videos in case this goes too long.